Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about illustrated poems. Sometimes poets will add pictures to go along with their poems to tell their readers more about what they're writing about. So you can see in this first poem called Oops by Shel Silverstein, not only did he draw a picture to go along with his poem, but his poem actually is upside down. So if you read it right side up, it says down, upside, out, come all poems my. But when you read it right side up, it says, my poems all come out upside down. I cannot turn them all around. I do not. I do try, but can't I found my poems all come out upside down. And then it's a picture of someone upside down. Or for Mr. Grumpledump's song, you can see a picture of Mr. Grumpledump. For Melinda May, who tried to eat a whale, have you heard of tiny Melinda May, who ate a monstrous whale? She thought she could, she said she would, so she started right at the tail. And everyone said, you're much too small, but that didn't bother Melinda at all. She looked, she took little bites and she chewed very slow, just like a good girl should. And in 89 years, she ate that whale, because she said she would. Look at Melinda in the second picture, she's 89 years older. For this one, band-aids. I have a band-aid on my finger, one on my knee and one on my nose, one on my heel and two on my shoulder, three on my elbow and nine on my toes, two on my wrist and one on my ankle, one on my chin and one on my thigh, four on my belly and five on my bottom, one on my forehead and one on my eye, one on my neck, and in case I might need them, I have a box of 35 more, but oh, I do think it's sort of a pity I don't have a cut or a sore. <laughs> And in the picture, he drew a person with band-aids all over his face. This one is a little bit of the poem, Honey, I Love, by Eloise Greenfield. Notice the illustrations that she added. Honey, I love. I love. I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things, like my cousin comes to visit and you know he's from the South because every word he says just kind of slides out of his mouth. I like the way he whistles and I like the way he walks. But honey, let me tell you how, that I love the way he talks. I love the way my cousin talks and the day is hot and icky and the sun sticks to my skin. Mr. Davis turns the hose on, everybody jumps right in. The water stings my stomach and I feel so nice and cool. Honey, let me tell you that I love a flying pool. I love to feel a flying pool and... Renee comes out to play and brings her doll without a dress. I make a dress with paper, and that doll sure looks a mess. We laugh so loud and long and hard, the doll falls to the ground. Honey, let me tell you that I love the laughing sound. I love to make the laughing sound, and... My uncle's car is crowded and there's lots of food to eat. We're going down the country where the church folks like to meet. I'm looking out the window at the cows and trees outside. Can you see a little bit how the pictures can match? Here I can see some cows. Maybe this is the street where she drives to see her uncle. Here is maybe her cousin coming. The pictures don't have to match the words exactly. They can just be whatever you want them to be. In this poem, what friends are for? For sharing, for caring, for giving, for giving. For walking, for talking, for waiting, relating. For pleasing, for teasing, for finding, reminding. For lending, for mending, for treating you fair. What, but what matters most? For just being there. This was by Douglas Florian. He used, it looks like he used crayon to draw his picture and he put his words right on top of the picture. You could do that too. This poem's called The Seed by Douglas Florian. Inside this seed you'll find a stem and leaf that grow with rain into a trunk and branch and leaf and seed that starts again. And then you could read the poem again. In this poem, the author used watercolors to illustrate. And Oak, also by Douglas Florian. From the acorn grows the tree, slowly, slowly. And then he used watercolor to illustrate this one as well. This one is To Catch a Fish by Eloise Greenfield. You can see that in this poem, she didn't just draw a picture, but she actually made felt characters and felt illustrations to go along with her poem. It takes more than a wish to catch a fish. You take the hook and you add the bait. You concentrate and then you wait. You wait. You wait but not a bite. The fish don't have an appetite, so tell them what good bait you've got and how your bait can hit the spot. This works a whole lot better than a wish if you really want to catch a fish. This poem is kind of cool too because 
Eloise Greenfield wrote what inspired her. She said at the top, this poem was inspired by a painting by Amos Ferguson. I thought of the patience it takes to go fishing. I wonder what you'll be inspired by. Now it's your turn. Take a poem that you've already written or write a brand new poem and illustrate it. You could use crayons, colored pencils, markers, regular pencils. You could use felt. You could use clay. You could use watercolors. Anything you want to add some illustration to your poem to go along with it. Then you can share it with the crew so everybody can see your illustrations and read your poem.